Hello world. In today's video, we will be learning about manual pitch correction. It's not quite the same as auto-tune. It's more of a manual control of each note inside of the vocals. And it's more similar to a tool like Melodyne than it necessarily is to an auto-tune. Manual pitch correction is something that you can apply before you add an auto-tune so your auto-tune does not have to work as hard and it gives your voice more of a natural feel while you're auto-tuning and gives you the ability to keep your retune speed lower on your auto-tune. This doesn't mean that manual pitch correction can't fix your voice if it's extremely off-key and it's actually kind of the other way around. If you're extremely off-key and the auto-tune isn't necessarily bringing you where you need it to, then you would need to manually pitch correct prior to using auto-tune. I'm going to give you guys an example of a before and after my vocals. And again, this isn't going to be a, a drastic difference. It's more of helping your auto-tune push you in the correct direction. And I'll give you guys a quick example of auto-tune afterwards. But for now, I'm just going to show you the bare vocals before and after. This is before. I'm still here all alone, but I will make it on my own. I know you think I've grown, but this apartment's not a home. And this is what it sounds like after. I'm still here all alone, but I will make it on my own. I know you think I've grown, but this apartment's not a home. I and as you can tell, there is a little bit of an auto-tune sounding slide in my vocals there, but that has to do with the variation speed turned down. And I'll show you guys about that when we hop into the vocals themselves. That's an optional step. And if you don't want that auto tune sound in your raw vocals, then you do not need to have the variation speed up. But with that being said, let's hop right into it. So the first step that you want to do is grab your vocals and click the upper left here and then head into the pitch correct sample. And that'll open up your vocals inside a new tone, which is the program that we'll be working in. Newtone is FL Studio's stock manual pitch correction tool, and it can also be used to grab midis from instrumentals and to pitch correct instrumentals as well as vocode or edit the pitch in basically any sound that you have. The first thing that I want to do is explain these three tools up here in the upper right of the program. You have center, variation, and transition. Basically center is going to decide where it centers your notes on the scales. And you can kind of see here as I turn up the center knob, it moves the notes closest to the nearest semitone that they are near to. For me, I turn center all the way up, but it's going to be different for everybody and what sound you're looking for. But I find the easiest way is to turn center all the way up. The variation knob is mainly used to control vibrato, which is the shift of pitch within that note that you're currently using and how much it's going to allow it. With the variation knob turned down all the way, that gives you a more of an auto tune sound because it keeps your voice completely stable within the note that you lock it into. And with the variation knob turned up, it gets rid of it and keeps it more natural. Personally, I usually turn the variation knob all the way down. The transition knob determines the speed of transitioning between notes. With the transition knob all the way down, the transition time is slowest between the notes and with it all the way up, it's fastest. I believe all the way up is the most natural sound and all the way down is the most robotic and switchy sound. It kind of gives a drop in between notes. With just turning the center knob, you can see that it starts to turn certain notes closer to where they would be within their range. It just brings it that little bit closer where it's in the correct semitone. I was already relatively in pitch, so some of these notes are not as drastic as a turn, but some like this one here are more drastic of a switch. Something that you can do if your notes are extremely off keys, say this note snaps to the wrong key, I'm still, and you can just tell in your ear that that's not the right key. What you're going to want to do is find out whatever the key of your song is, click on the scissors tool here, and then hit snap to scale. And then you can choose what scale that you're in. Uh, this song's in A minor, so I'm gonna snap it to A minor. Sometimes the center key will bring it to the wrong note. As you can see with this note here, it dragged it to an F when the note is really an E. I'm still here. See how unnatural that still here sounds? I'm still here all alone. And as you can tell, that's not the key that it was supposed to be in. But dragging it down to this E will place it in the correct key. I'm still here all alone, but... And that's basically the basis of snapping to the scale and dragging it where you need it on the grid because the center tool will often move them farther from where they're supposed to be. 
if you're noticing too much roboticism in your voice, then you can turn the variation up slightly so it's a little more natural. I'm still here all alone, but I will make it on my own. And if you want to get more advanced with the volume of the notes and the formatting of the notes, then you can just double click and it will bring you into this advanced edit mode. With the advanced edit mode, you can adjust the volume and entry and outry of the vocals, like the way the vocals are coming in. This little green section here will adjust the fade in gain and this red section here will adjust the fade out. And then this section here will adjust the volume. And you can use that to give a more natural sense of the tuning in your voice. Within that advanced edit tool, you also have access to format shifting. And that is this section right here. You can format shift up and down different formats. Here all alone. I'm still here all alone. And you can do that with all your notes at once by holding control A. And now it's selecting every single note. So as I do this, it's going to do it to every note. That's one way to format shift your vocals. There's many others that I've showed in other tutorials, but if you want a more specific overview on formatting, I can give you guys that as well. There's many tools for formatting like Pitcher or just any stock auto-tune, as well as a few different tools that are stock within FL as well. One last tool I wanted to show you as part of the manual pitch correction is this cut tool right here. Let's imagine that this vocal right here was put together as one and not split in a natural way and it was locking it all to the same pitch like so I'm still here all alone but and you wanted that alone to be down a note you could come in here with the cut tool cut it there and then that'll give you the ability to drag that note down to where you think it needs to be and let's say that you want to recombine them you can grab the cut tool hold control until you see this finger here and then that gives you the ability to combine them now they're one note again but we don't want that obviously so we're going to go back and cut it again uh, here all alone, but... so that's basically the basics of manual pitch correction there's a few other tools in here like send to piano roll which allows you to take all of these MIDI notes that your vocals produced or whatever audio you put into new tone produced and send them into any of your tracks in your channel rack. I'll just give you guys a quick example of that. Let's say I had a random sound open like we'll just go with the default keyboard from Flex. So you could click this send so you could click this send to MIDI button. So you could click this send to piano roll button and whichever channel rack you had selected like the electric piano that I just created, it would send your midis there. And sometimes that's a good way to also see if you're in key the way that you thought you were. As you can see that right there is out of tune and you can kind of notice that and our vocals as well and then go manually correct that i know you think i've grown but this uh, i know you think i've grown there you go that's better right there it was an f when it needed to be an e and this whole section here i do not think should all be c's and you can kind of see that this here this apartment's not a home should be more like this apartments not a home so there's going to be a lot of little things like that that you're going to need to do in order to perfectly pitch your vocals but that's the beauty of manual pitch correction it gives you the option to fix all those notes that autotune might not necessarily have caught and then once you've gotten new tone to the way you want you're going to want to use this upper left tool here to click detached because when it's detached then you can move and mess around in this area without it messing up your new tone or making your new tone disappear. And then there's multiple ways to get your audio into your playlist. You could simply hit the send to playlist button, but then it's not gonna be lined up where your vocals were. The easiest way is to click this button here, which is the drag to selection button, and then click and hold and drag directly onto your vocals, and that'll replace those vocals with the new toned vocals. This, however, creates a completely new version and sometimes even replaces the old, so I don't always do that because you're not gonna have a copy of your last new tone vocal. So be careful when you're doing that. You might wanna make a unique version of the vocal so you don't overwrite them. But basically, that's how you use stock plugins inside of FL Studio to manually pitch correct your vocals. One last thing, obviously, on top of that manual pitch correction, you're gonna wanna throw on something like Pitcher. 
Obviously, you're gonna need something more specific than this. This is just so you're not left hanging with only manually pitch corrected vocals. You can head into Pitcher, which is a stock auto tune inside of FL Studio, and then pick the key that you know your vocals are in, which as we know, this one's A minor. We already knew that in the beginning. You now find that you do not hear the auto tune having to work as hard to pitch your vocals, and that gives you a cleaner auto tune effect in general. I'm just gonna turn the auto tune on in my bus and show you how it sounds. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pitcher on in my load chain and show you how it sounds with just the auto tune on after manually pitching it. I'm still here all alone, but I will make it on my own. I know you think I've grown, but this apartment's not a home. As you can see, even with the highest setting of retune speed, it doesn't hit that hard or sound very robotic. And I'll go ahead and turn all the load order on and give you guys a quick preview of what all this sounded like when I was finished mixing it. I'm still here all alone, but I will make it on my own. I know you think I've grown, but this apartment's not a home. I miss my family, but something's stopping me. I should call, but I can't handle these things properly. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to comment and subscribe if you want any more tutorials like this. So much love to you guys. I hope this video helped you learn a little bit about manual pitch correction inside of FL Studio. If you want any more tutorials like this, make sure to let me know in the comments. I'm down to do some more preset videos as well to give you guys my updated load order and some of the new stuff I've been working on and learning from my friends. Thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate it and I hope I helped you guys learn something. So much love. Peace out.